This is Louise for MMA Crazy and we're here with Scott Ascom. Scott, you're fighting this Saturday at UFC Dublin. How excited are you to be here in Dublin? Yeah, super excited. You, you just go around the city, you can see the feel that they've got for the MMA and uh, how big it is. Yeah, it's going to be a cracking event. Uh, and talk about your last win. You had a KO victory uh, back in Berlin. How was that experience for you? Yeah, obviously it was my first win in UFC and to get like that, it was, it was spectacular fashion. Um, I was super excited um, and I can't wait to do it again. So um, obviously you made some changes I think you said going into that fight so what kind of changes now have you got in place going into this fight for Dublin? Um, I've, done, I've done everything pretty much the same as my last camp really, uh, still at ASW but uh, I've, I've improved as a fighter, I'm, I'm getting better and better each time, uh, each camp I'm going to be a better fighter and, and you'll see something new. And you're saying about obviously support, you're obviously known for having a lot of your supporters, your family, your friends with you. Um, how many people have you got coming to see yeah. you on Saturday? Yeah, that's right, we've got a uh, big uh, crowd coming over, uh, they're all going to be ringside again and um, yeah, they're going to make a good night of it. How does that help you mentally going into a fight, having that support behind you? Yeah, I, I, I like to shut off stuff like that and uh, obviously I'm, I'm here to fight, I'm, I don't get too concerned about the crowd uh, when I get warmed up and stuff. but. Uh, it, it, after when you get to celebrate, it's good to have them all there and, and, and uh, celebrate with your friends and family. So you're fighting Christoph Jocko this Saturday. Uh, what did you think of him as an opponent for you? Because you've been on, I think it was uh, in Sweden, you both shared a card before. Yeah, we were both on the same card. Um, I don't think he's fought since. Um, he's had a bit, he's, uh, I don't know if he's been a bit unfortunate with injury and pull outs and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, um, he's, he's pretty good everywhere. But I don't, I don't think, I don't think he stands out anywhere. I think, um, I think I edge him in most areas. So, what do you think then makes you the better fighter then? Uh, everything makes me the better fighter. I, like I say, um, I'm, I'm going in there to impose my game and um, put the pressure on him and um, look for the finish. Okay, so I was going to say, so are you going in there again with that kind of same mindset? Like last time, did you go in there thinking that you wanted to get that KO victory? Yeah, I always go in, there's always an opportunity for that KO victory with me. Uh, everybody who's watching me fights, you'll, you'll see that um, even in my debut when I lost, um, I, was, I, was, I was close, but obviously I didn't get it. Um, I'm always going to be one of them contenders for the bonus, that's what, that's what I want. I, I go in there with them in my mind and, and that's what I'm going to do. What kind of challenges though do you think that Jocko might present to you on Saturday? Um, I, I, don't, I don't really like to talk about what, 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 he, what he, he might give. Like, like I said, I'm, I'm looking at to impose my game and, and, and um, imply what I want to do and not what he does. In terms of training then, have you fo focused more on just about you or have you yeah, looked at his game? All focus has been on me. I I've watched his fights and stuff, obviously I know he's a southpaw, uh, which I've never fought a southpaw, that's going to be new. Uh, but yeah, I focus on my game. We've, we've obviously got a, a bit more southpaw sparring, to which obviously makes sense. But other than that, everything's been the same. So how do you see the fight then unfolding on Saturday? And what, and what kind of reaction are you expecting from the crowd? Uh, it's an interesting one, uh, the action from the Irish crowd. Uh, I don't know, I think I think they'll be on my side, I don't know, but like I say, they definitely will be on my side at the end. We look forward to seeing that fight, thank you very much. For